Uh, about four months ago, I featured this tool. This is the Ramset 7200 vintage, uh, early 1970s. And uh, it is one of the tools that uses a power pellet instead of a powder load, a chemical pellet, nitrocellulose, to drive the fastener instead of powder load. And um, it's unique in that it uses, as far as I know, it's the only tool that has 10 shots. It's a semi-automatic tool. The rest of them are all single shot. And before I go any further, I need to properly thank John at John Fix for sending me one of the tools so I was able to get a working model done. Thank you, John. And if you want to see somebody that uh, takes pride in what he does in refurbishing tools, I highly suggest that you check out his channel. He does some pretty neat stuff there. Got a lot of knowledge, too. A lot more than I do on these things. Now, like I said, you uh, insert the yellow tray inside here and index them one at a time with this lever here. And here, I don't know if you can see the arm, but that's where the tablets go in through here and you can actually see if it's loaded. And at the time, this is the first time I've seen one of these tools. I've only seen pictures and I've never seen one operated. It didn't occur to me on my first shot to look and see if I had that tablet loaded. So after the first one didn't go off, I loaded it again and fired the tool and uh, it went off and I overdrove the fastener quite a bit. At the time, I wasn't looking in the window, like I said, and I should have. Uh, after that, I started to notice that sometimes when I hit this lever, it didn't index right before I go to that. So, after uh, overdriving the fastener, I thought, well, maybe the tool is a lot more powerful than I expected. So I turned it down and uh, fired several shots, turning it back up one uh, power level at a time before I realized what had happened. And by that time I was uh, noticing that sometimes it wasn't feeding properly and I did begin using this top window to see if it was indexed properly.
So, after shooting it, one of the things is, is that I felt that this was kind of hard to push up. Don't tell me. There is. There's still a tablet in there. Okay. Now that we went through that, I'll explain that here in just a second. So, that's kind of hard to push that up in my opinion, but after I got used to it, it wasn't so bad. Now, John at John Fix also explained to me that there were two pistons with this tool. So you could also use those pistons as a power adjust. However, I don't have the uh, low power piston. Apparently these are both high power pistons. And um, other than this, and you're like, you know, that is a pretty good sized tool. You compare that to a DX350, that thing's pretty beefy. Uh, the only thing I could think to do after that was to just go ahead and shoot it again. And it went a little better. Except for the wood came up off the concrete and uh, I didn't want to finish the strip. So then I had the, the uh, pellets left in the tool and they were all outside the yellow container up here in the tool. So my first question was how to get them out and I just shook it and they all fell out. And uh, that last one was the same thing you just saw that it was still in there. Uh, let's make sure. Uh, don't know for sure how many shots. Yep. Well, you can see how that twists in there, but it is pretty neat what it does. How it twists the uh, pellet. Anyway. So, that was one of my questions. How do you unload it if you load a shot and then decide that you're not going to fire it? Apparently you just shake it out of the tool. Uh... So that's it. It is a neat tool. I do like shooting it. Fortunately, I'm starting to run low on power pellets. I shouldn't have played with so many of them. And uh, we'll move on to something else. And thanks for watching.